بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو اینڈ ویلکم ٹو رحمان ڈیجیٹل پروڈکشن دس از لیکچر نمبر ون ہنڈریڈ اینڈ ٹویلتھ آف فزکس اینڈ ٹوڈیز لیکچر وی ویل ڈسکس دا ٹو ویری امپورٹنٹ اینڈ وائڈلی یوز ٹرمس ان الیکٹریسٹی دیٹ از الیکٹرو موٹیو فورس اینڈ پوٹینشیل ڈفرینس ناؤ پیپل آر تھنکنگ دیٹ دیز ٹو ٹرمینالوجیز ریفرنگ ٹو دا سیم کنسیپٹ بائی سینگ دیئر یونٹ بیکاز دا یونٹ آف الیکٹرو موٹیو فورس اینڈ پوٹینشیل ڈفرینس آر دی سیم سو دیٹ از وائی دے آر تھنکنگ دیٹ دس دیز آر دا ٹو سیم ٹرمینالوجیز Uh, referring to the same concept but actually it is not like this because electromotive force is totally the opposite phenomena of the potential difference in today's lecture we are going to first discuss electromotive force let me explain it's in an orthodox way first then we will go towards the technical points about it when i was in the university the teacher still i remember told us that electromotive force simple meaning is the power of a battery i will explain that term in a moment but you have to remember that if you are going to the market and you are taking a battery for ups or for any other purposes then you can ask the shopkeeper that what is the emf of this battery remember that emf uh, refer to the direct current dc whenever we are talking about the voltage of the dc uh, then we have to refer to electromotive force whenever we are talking about the ac then we are referring to another term of the same concept and that is the potential difference now let me tell you that what is the power of the battery because these two terminologies are frequently used in electricity and electricity current mean the flow of electron so if we are talking about the flow of electron and there is a battery so there must be something inside that battery in the form of chemical or in the form of a mechanical or some other form of energy must be there and if we want to move or shift the electron inside the conductor now these uh, mm, uh, non electrical sources must provide a potential to the electron to move inside this circuit and that potential means the power which is produced to the electron to move through this conductor of wire is known as emf emf is shortly written is e m f but this is the power given to the electron to move to the uh, required uh, destination if there is more power in the battery the electrons will move fast if there is a less power inside the battery then this is called uh, less uh, energy inside the uh, battery so remember that emf cannot be used for the 
AC current just like we are using in our homes. They are known as the potential difference. As I told you that I am not going in the technicality. First, first I am telling you that what actually the terms uh, electromotive force and potential difference refer to. Potential difference is something else and that is the reverse phenomena. Let us now move towards the technical definition of the uh, electromotive force. Uh, before that, I want to tell you that this battery is a source of EMF. So whenever I am referring to the source of EMF that might be a device which is capable of converting non-electrical energy into electrical energy. So a source of electromotive force is a device in which non-electrical uh, energy is changed into electrical energy. Examples of source of EMF are electrical cells, uh, thermocouples and generators. We will discuss all these terminologies in greater detail. But let us first talk about this figure which is given on the right side of your screen. The figure shows a cell which is a source of EMF and this is the source of EMF and you know from the table in which we showed common devices in electrical circuits. So shows a cell a source of EMF connected to a light bulb. You know that this is the symbol for bulb. In the figure the EMF of the source that is a cell is able to maintain its upper terminal positive. You can see that it is labeled as positive and its lower terminal negative is shown by positive and negative signs in this diagram. When the switch is closed the cell drive a clockwise current in uh, current I round the circuit external to it. You can see that this is clockwise. So you can see that clockwise current is uh, uh, going around the circuit external to it. As a positive charge uh, enters the source of EMF, and its lower potential point negative terminal, the EMF of the source does an amount of work on the positive charge to enable it to go to the point of the higher potential and that is positive charge. So when there is a low potential here and this cell, the energy is working to move this charge to the higher potential and that is positive charge. A point of high potential is a region when there, uh, where there is a larger number of positive charges than there are elsewhere. A point of low potential is a region where there is a lesser number of positive charges or more negative charges than there are elsewhere. Okay, now let us define and now we are in a position to define the EMF technically. As it is written in the yellow, the electromotive force or EMF of a cell is defined as the energy converted from non-electrical forms to electrical form. And now you know that very well. But there is a one uh, 
extra sentence is when one coulomb of positive charge passes through the cell yes now because i told you that this battery a or emf is this uh, power of the battery so it will utilize it power to move this negatively charged a uh, particle to the positive terminal because positive and negative uh, charges are repelling each other so there is a need of extra power to move this negatively charged particle to the positive terminal of the battery and that power is supplied by the uh, uh, battery now if battery is dragging one coulomb of charge of positive charge uh, of negative charge to move it to positive and then they are moving this positive charge through the wire then this is called emf 1 emf ya 1 volt if we are writing it in mathematical form then we can write electromotive force and because that is energy required to convert non electrical energy into electrical energy so we are de- uh, denoting it with e that is equal to w divided by q where e is electromotive force w is the energy converted from non electrical form to electrical form and q the famous positive charge now from the above equation we can say that emf is equal to joule per coulomb because the value the unit of this w is joule work and the charge is coulomb so technically we can say joule per coulomb is volt when one joule of work is done on the positive charge to move it through a conductor and that positive charge must be of 1 coulomb so a work of 1 joule drive a charge of 1 coulomb then we say that 1 volt of emf is produced so this is the technical definition of this now you understood the basic concept of the emf now let us turn our focus to potential difference and we will utilize the same diagram to discuss the potential difference now there is a difference of potentials between point a and point b because this is connected this a point with the positive terminal and this b is with the negative terminal and according to the conventional current positive charge will create current the movement of positive and remember conventional current i am talking about so it will be the potential of this point is different from this point that will be at higher potential and this point will be at lower potential why because a point is connected to the positive terminal and positive terminal refer to the area where there is an abundance of the positive charge and negative terminal is 
connected to the b point is connected to the negative terminal of the cell mean that there are lesser particles there so it will be a lesser particle remember just like we are having water at the higher altitude and the water always flows from top to bottom it can never flow from bottom to top without any external work in similar fashion the charge will move from a higher potential to a lower potential if there is a potential be difference between the two points then current will be produced and this bulb will be lighted up if there is no potential difference both the points are at the same potential then remember that we will not be able to uh, uh, push the currents from point a to point b uh, dear learners you might have seen high tension wires going in the street on the roads to transmit electricity from one place to another place and there are four different types of wires we are saying one wire is at a potential of for example 20000 volt the second wire is at 10000 volt so there is a difference of potential between the two i am turning my focus to a very important terminology if there is a potential difference in the two wires if you are touching both the wires with your hand then the current will flow through your body from high potential wire to a low potential wire and then you will be shocked you don't have to try this uh, to practically confirm it because it can cause death as well so never try to play with the electricity so remember that if you are only touching one potential wire one higher uh, high potential uh, high tension wire then there will be no potential difference across the two points you are touching and no current will flow through your body so you will not be electrocuted many people are saying that the crows or birds are setting on the high tension wire are why not electrocuted because they are at the same potential if they are at the same potential there will no current flow through their body and they will not be electrocuted but i saw many times if a crow is touching with their feathers at the same time the two wires they are shocked heavily and i saw deaths of the crows as well now the potential difference between two point is defined as the energy converted this is the reverse from electrical to other form when one coulomb of positive charge passes between the two points in symbol just like we saw e is equal to w divided by q in this case potential difference v is equal to w divided by q where v is potential difference w is equal to energy converted and q again is the charge the si unit for potential difference is the same as that for emf that is the volt and that is the point people are confusing themselves that potential difference and 
EMF are of the uh, same meaning but it is actually not now let us first de uh, define the volt which is written in green the potential bit, uh, difference between two point in a conductor is one volt if one joule of energy is converted from electrical to other forms when one coulomb of positive charge flows through it okay that was the whole story about the basic concept now we are generalizing and we have to understand this concept analogous to the gravitational i mentioned that in my lecture in today's lecture but let us formalize it so next topic is a gravitational analog to a simple electric circuit now the balls you are seeing they are to be considered as electron in electric circuits but in daily life we are considering that as the uh, balls these balls are moving from the higher altitude and there is an oil and viscosity is there so when these balls are moving from here in this direction they are having potential energy and that potential energy is converted to kinetic energy but when they are reaching to this point this person must utilize its energy to pick this ball up and put it back inside this pipe so this person is playing the role of a battery taking this from the negative terminal to the positive terminal whatever energy this person is spending is stored inside the ball as potential energy and that potential energy is then pushing these balls in this pipe and similarly the process is taking place if we are taking this in the form of the uh electric circuit so this person is a battery this is the negative terminal and this is the positive terminal battery must do work to move this uh, electron to the positive terminal and then they will have higher potential if there is a potential difference between the two points then these charges will move in the pipe otherwise it will not when charges are passing through a body it means that that body will have a current so the figure can be compared with the previous figure which is this one and in case of the source of emf the cell doing work on the positive charge to move it from a point of lower potential to a point of higher potential the person does work in lifting up the balls from ground a point of lower gravitational potential to the top of the point of higher gravitational potential the balls then roll downwards into the region of viscous oil just as the electrical energy is being converted to heat and light in the case of current flowing through the bulb the gravitational potential energy of the ball is being converted into thermal energy in the viscous oil as the balls descend through the viscous oil
so in this way we can compare gravitational potential energy and electrical energy being converted from one form to another form let us clarify our concept with the work example the work example one is saying the emf of a dry cell is 1.5 volt i have written that what is the energy dissipated by the cell in driving 0.4 coulomb of charge round a circuit so charge is 0.4 now you can see for electromotive force we are using e is equal to w q and because we are finding the energy dissipated in the driving cell so we will find w so w is equal to e q putting the value we will get 0.6 joule now there is another very important work example if a charge of 3.75 into 10 raised to the power 4 coulomb so i have written charge from the unit i can understand that this is charge flows through an electric heater and the amount of electrical energy converted into heat is 9.00 megajoule and you know that mega joule means 10 raised to the power 6 so i have written here 10 raised to the power 6 the rest is the same because the question is saying calculate the potential difference when you are hearing the term potential difference you don't have to use e is equal to w divided by q you have to use v is equal to w divided by q simply putting the values inside this and we will get 240 volt which is very nearer to the reality in homes we are having 220 to 30 to 30 uh, potential difference remember that potential difference voltage and current are two different things voltage is the power given to the electron to move it if we are push pushing it hardly then there will be a greater amount of electricity at our home but if the voltage is less mean the power is less then the electron will not be pushed hardly so then we will have a very low potential and you will not see the bulbs and other electrical devices are working uh, properly with one last important sentence i am concluding this lecture and that is that if you are electrocuted voltage is not giving your body electrocution that is the current which is the flow of electron and that is damaging your body's tissues so keep in mind voltage is not giving but voltage is giving power to the electron and these electron are damaging our body when we are getting electric shocks with this we came to the end of this very important topic please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet thank you very much for your time allah hafiz